Now, I just got back from a service trip where a bunch of us from our church went to Quadra Island and helped out at Camp Homewood, where we basically did whatever they needed us to do in order to make the camp a nicer place for people to come. And it makes you wonder sometimes, what can a few people do for a short period of time to make a difference in people's lives? Now, it's important to remember, we weren't really going as a missions trip. We weren't engaging with the other campers or those kinds of things there. We were going as a group to help serve the camp, to do the things that they don't have time to do because they're focusing on the kids or the families that are showing up. So we hauled wood and we stacked it in their places because most of the homes around there are heated with wood, including the big lodge. We hauled a lot of wood. We also cleaned up flower beds and cleaned up roadways cleaned up ditches so that water would run properly because they get a fair amount of water out there near Vancouver Island. And a lot of the time was just spent making things nicer. But it is actually amazing the kind of connection you can make over a short period of time like that. One time at lunch, I was sitting with one of the families that serves there at the camp, and I was sitting beside one of the kids who's about four years old or so, and I was just having some fun with him, teasing him a little bit, chatting with him, talking about his food, trying to help him to get a, a little bit of food in his belly because his mom and dad were busy with their other kids, and we just had a bit of fun. Now, if you know me, you know that I like to be a kid anyway, so it was just an opportunity for me to indulge that childish behavior a little bit. The really amazing thing was, the next time we were seated in the lunchroom, I didn't sit beside the family again, but apparently he recognized me when I came in and he turned to his mom and he said, Look, mom, there's our friend! Now, I didn't see our connection as anything all that spectacular. After all, I just sat beside him at lunch and had a little bit of fun with him. And of course, kids make friends a lot better than we do as adults, but it just reminded me of how impactful even a little bit of connection can be. Just a little bit of friendliness with somebody else. And the rest of the week during camp, whenever he would see me, he'd give me a big wave and then I'd go over and give him a high five or just say something to him a little bit. Just pay a little bit of attention. And it's amazing the difference that we can make doing that for other people. And that's something that I want to continue to learn and to keep track of in my life here as well. And something that I would urge you to remember as you go about your daily life. The small interactions that you have with other people can make a big difference. You can make a positive impact in somebody's life just by being friendly with them. So as you go about your daily life today or whenever you're watching this, I want you to remember that you can make an impact and plan on making a connection with somebody. Doesn't have to be long, doesn't have to be deep, but it can be friendly and it can be fun.